What about you, Coach? I mean, you know, you're you're a very positive guy, and and that 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 obviously serves being a head coach in the NFL, certainly of the Chicago Bears. You know, you're uh, you're aware, you you know this league to to get another opportunity to coach a, a a rookie, or you obviously were coaching Trubisky in year two, and that did not work out, as we all know. Despite you winning Coach of the Year in your first year with him, to get another crack at it is is it's a rarity in this league. Do you ever sit around and take stock in something like that? For your opportunity no, I do. You I, I absolutely do, and I think that every, every day that I'm in this position, and I've been, you know, uh, very fortunate to work for uh, the McCaskey family and and uh, you know this this organization and who we have here. You know, I, I appreciate the opportunity they've given me, and it's it's been uh, you know coming in in 2018 and having the success we had as a team and winning the NFC North and going to the playoffs, and and then the following year we missed the playoffs and. Uh, you know, and and then you go back to the playoffs this year, but you you know you you go through a losing streak that was difficult, but in the end you're sur- you're surrounded by good people um, that support you, and I think that starts at the very top, and that's what I'm thankful for. And there's a belief, and there's a trust, and they have that in us, we have that in them, and it's our job as leaders, you know, is to make sure that you stay positive and that everybody understands that this thing is alive. There's an excitement. Um, you know, when you go through these trials and tribulations and you, sh- you hit adversity, um, there's that fork in the road and you can go different ways. And this, this city, this organization, um, our team, the last couple of years has fought through th- that adversity. And now here we are presented for, for me selfishly with a fourth year to be able to, to have another opportunity. And now with Justin, um, it's, it's about developing. He needs to have a successful entry into this league. And I feel like I was taught by one of the best coaches, if not the greatest coach in the history of the NFL and coach Andy Reed. And he taught me how to be a head coach and how to, you know, handle situations and develop quarterbacks like this. And so um, we're all going to do it together. I got great coaches and Ryan Pace and I doing this thing together. And, and so that that's where we're at, man. And it's uh for us right now, it's good times, and we we need to make the most of it and be great coaches. No doubt, and you know, I know you had a still rest of the first round to monitor, and then the next two days of the draft to monitor. But when you hung up the phone from Justin Fields and everything was completed, you you had to just sit back and go, okay, here we go. Like this is what an opportunity, what a major refresh, what a reset button that we just hit. Um, that had to be a good few minutes for you and Ryan Pace in that draft. It, it was, I and, imagine. And you know, as you go into that draft, when everything happens. We went and we congratulated all of our coaches, all of our personnel, our scouts, everybody, and there was probably a good hour or two that passed. But when the dust settled at nighttime and, and everything was done, the draft was over, uh, you know, I walked into Ryan's office and he just, uh, you, you, we, you know, we gave each other just a little fist bump and, <laughs> and, and just, uh, you know, post-COVID here, but a little fist bump and just like, you know, hey, there's so much stuff that goes into that, that one night. And you never know how it's going to go. There's so many phone conversations. There's so many hours of watching tape. There's so many different opinions from different people. And in the end, you know, you, you end up getting your guy in Justin Fields. And that's a good feeling. And now, like I told Ryan, you know, we went and we got this guy. And now it's our job as a coaching staff to develop him. And we need to do everything we can so that he has a hell of a career. And however that is, and when we look back, we say we did it the right way, and it was best for the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields, and we'll see when that is. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.